where your well-being is a passion. And of course, everything that we do here, it's about your growth. Um, the youth today says that lead by example. And I think, um, you know, uh, Sandra Aid, you are leading by example. I haven't heard, but today the things that you've shown us um, on the screens really testifies of how good you guys have been. Um, I hear this voice within me that says, is there one story um, that this aid or one person that this age has touched that has really become um, a man of substance or woman of substance in society, a story that touches your heart that you always look in the mirror and say, hey, yeah, yeah, dear. Is there anyone that comes in your mind? Yeah, um, a couple of mm -hmm. them. But um, so I'll make it generic without mentioning names. Okay. At least I know of one person who rose to become the CEO or MD of one of the telecoys, the telephone wow. communication mm. uh, organizations in this country. I mean, to the top. I know of one who is a marketing director in one of the manufacturing companies. Mm. I know a couple of them who are doctors. Wow. Uh, some strong media persons. You know, without mentioning it, because I haven't sought their permission mm -hmm. uh, to, to mention them. But these are, uh, 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 and there's one who, that one, he was on air at that time, so I can mention the Deputy General Secretary of ICGC. Wow. Is one of our beneficiaries. Um, was supported at a point in time in his technical education, and um, that really propelled him to pursue um, higher education. and now holds a doctorate and is the Deputy General Secretary of this great uh, church organization called ICGC, Reverend Dr. Perry uh, Tete. Mm -hmm. you know, so there are a couple of them across across the All right. board. Yes. I, I, I believe they're watching and uh, they, yeah. they, they, they're happy. Um, but I want to ask, you know, it's, it's like we've had a smooth talk, you know, this is <laughs> it, but what are some of the obstacles that you face as a, a central aid in getting into these communities in assisting and helping and shaping the lifestyles in those communities. What are some of the difficult um, challenges that you face in doing this? Well, I think I'll just speak about uh, one. I'll just speak about one. Okay. And uh, I'll say that it's the funding. Mm -hmm. The funding, you know, you can't give what you don't have. Okay. And so we desire to do so many things. I mean, he, he mentioned that we give scholarships to brilliant but needy uh, students. Yeah, that this, one else. This, these, people, <laughs> yeah. these people are not Christians. Muslims were even part of it. Oh, okay. One of our social interventions has been that we've uh, uh, done a renovation of the central mosque at Abosokai, mm. a church renovating the building, painting the inside and the outside of the mosque. This brings a benefit of religious tolerance. Mm -hmm. Maybe in other countries, Christians and Muslims are unable to live together. Okay. But some of these little, little things mm -hmm. can go to um, deliver so much more to the nation. Mm -hmm. So we need a lot of funding to be able to do this. So the uh, biggest obstacle, I think, is that of funding, mm -hmm. where we want people to donate to central aid in order that we'll be able to have enough okay. to be able to do enough. Mm. You'll you find that currently, um, um, from the beginning, our scholarships were for people from the GHS who are going to SHS. Okay. With the advent of the free SHS program mm -hmm. of this particular government, Invest we had to we had to end the free SHS. Okay. So we now scaled it up to the tertiary level, where the cost of uh, funding one student is about five to six times the cost of funding. One. Uh, uh, so three. six okay. students at the BC level could go it for one, one at the one, tertiary one. level, one. which means the quantum of money that we need now to be able to pursue our activities. Just from the educational sector alone, mm -hmm. it's much more than before. So I'll say that the funding is one thing. Um, like you said, the church members, the church organization gives, mm -hmm. the local assemblies give, individual members give. But some members who have uh, businesses also um, do give. And mm -hmm. I think I'd want to use your platform mm -hmm. to launch an appeal. Mm -hmm. Because that's the biggest area that we have a uh, problem. Okay. That is in the area of funding. That they should um, step up the game. We already appreciate what they've been doing to central aid, but we would like them to step up the game and help us to sustain the um, program at the tertiary level. 
Um, and so you have people from the humanities up to uh, medicine and that we are sponsoring now at the tertiary level. And so um, I would say that the funding is the biggest obstacle that we've had so far in the execution of our programs. Mm, Doc, uh, yeah. there's this coming in my mind, and I think I need to really ask this. Um, do you um, dive in the areas where, you know, with drug abuse and all of that, do you also help people um, in those areas? Okay, so before I get there, I just wanted to add that sometimes the plethora of needs okay and so which one do you respond to mm -hmm. so we go to committee we need water we need this we need that we need that mm -hmm. they, they mm -hmm. list all of these and so one of the challenges is which one do you tackle first okay so sometimes in in trying to um prioritize you, you may For think who? that this yeah. is what it is but the people who need this you know okay. regarding that um we started with a scope of operations. Mm -hmm. So we're dealing with scholarships, institutional support, and community development. Okay. Um, the last couple of years, we are trying to I get into it. those areas where okay. we would help with uh, um, people in, with, uh, in abusive uh, situations mm -hmm. and all of that. But as part of the church's counseling ministry, okay. all of those are taken up. So if me. someone um, is, is dealing with maybe one drug abuse here and there, would that person be able to come into uh, the church and get counseling? And No. Um, in the church, <clears throat> sorry, we could start you off. But mm -hmm. as a technical professional area, mm -hmm. we may have to refer okay. to the appropriate oh. quarters of professional people to deal with. All right. But we have some of these professional people in the church okay. who, who, who can help. But of course, we have the institutions there, Ghana Health, mm -hmm. uh, Mental Health Authorities there, uh, all those places are there. Um, so we could always uh, make references all and right. uh, recommendations. But all right. we can always start from the church. Okay. I should say you are doing a great job. I mean, uh, what we've seen uh, on, on the screen is the pictures uh, testifies to that. So we wish you very well. Um, that people will come or flood um, in numbers to support their um, central aid. God richly bless you, gentlemen, for Thank making you. it on the show. Thank, Thank you, you so us. much. Thank you very much. For All right. We are grateful, sir. <laughs>